Hi everyone, it is now actually day three, excuse the messy hair, I've just woken up. Last night kind of failed and the reason being me and my boyfriend got an invitation through the post for a wedding in November and I got really excited and started dress searching like instantly. <clears throat> yeah, so that's what happened before I went out and then I had my classes which you knew about. And then I came back and I started dress searching again with my sister. So, yeah, didn't actually get anything else read last night. But I'm gonna read a lot more now. I'm not even gonna get dressed before I start reading today. I'm just gonna get straight on with it. Kind of, I'm gonna have my breakfast quickly first and then just get straight on with reading. So, I'm gonna really concentrate on getting a lot more of this read to start with. Definitely wanna get a lot more of this read. And then later on, I'll read The Magic Finger. I'm not going to read that just yet though. I just want to concentrate on getting some Breaking Dawn read. Um, I am out this afternoon for quite a while today. It's quite a busy day today. So I will have a massive break from reading in the afternoon. But then later on when I'm back I can just read again. Because I'm not out after. What time will I get home? I'll probably get home around about quarter past six and then I'm not out after that. But I will be going out at about twenty past one. So I have got a huge break. But other than that, it's fine. I'm going to really try and concentrate on catching up with my reading from yesterday, this morning. And then I'll get my reading, what I want to do today, done later, if that makes sense. See, so yeah, I'll update you in a bit and I am off to have my breakfast now. <laughs> date of where I wanted to be before I left for classes yesterday for break and dawn so that's good. Yoga is also cancelled this afternoon which I'm good about because I love yoga but it does give me more time to read now so I've got a little bit longer. So I want to get completely up to date with my Wednesday reading for this. I've got another three chapters to read for this and Ryan's just walked in. Hi Ryan. Can at least smile. <laughs> Three coffee, you should be eating from that top. Eating your slice of bread. Here we go. No, Ryan! Still mad at you. <laughs> so, anyway, yeah, I've got up to date for where I wanted to be before I left for classes yesterday but I still need to get up to date with the rest of Wednesday night's reading so I've got another three chapters to read in this I think it's about 50 pages and then I also wanted to read that yesterday so I've got that to read as well now I'm hoping I can get both of these read before I go out for teaching so we'll see hopefully but I'm just gonna have a quick dinner break now before I carry on with my reading so I'll update you in a bit once I have read a bit more and had my dinner and everything so yeah, I'll see you then. Okay, so this morning and into the afternoon, I have managed to catch up on my Wednesday reading for Breaking Dawn. I'm now up to page 500, which is where I wanted to be last night. So I only have today's reading to do for this later when I get in. And then I also have started George's Marvelous Medicine, but I've only read a couple of chapters because I have to go out now, so I haven't had much time. But I will finish that later on when I get in. It shouldn't take me long. About half an hour, maybe. Not even that. We'll see, but yeah, I definitely want to get this read when I get in. And then I'm going to either carry on reading this to get my Thursday reading done for this, and then it's done, which I think I probably will do. But I also want to start another book, and I'm thinking if I stay by Gail Foreman, I might start. So that's all going to happen later as well. But for now, I'm going to have to go because I'm running late as always. So I need to leave now so I can go teach. And I will see you when I get back. Hello everyone. So I am back from classes and I was so tired after classes tonight. So when I got back I made sure I had some tea and I decided because I was still tired after that I'm going to have a proper good shower to try and wake myself up a little bit so I'll do a little bit more reading tonight. So that's what I've done. I'm all ready now. I feel a little bit better. I'm just feeling a little bit sort of unenergised but it's okay. I'll be fine. So I'm going to read 
George Smallvis Medicine. I did start this earlier, but I only got like a few pages read. I literally got to like page 17, so like I still got most of this to read, but it shouldn't take me long because it's really short. So I'm going to get that read now, and I'll update you once I've read this one. And then after that, I think I'm going to do my Thursday reading because this is still Wednesday reading. I'm still behind, <laughs> so once I've read this, my Wednesday reading's all up to date. But then I'm going to, I think, catch up on my Thursday reading for this. So I'll get to, I think it's chapter 32 I want to get to. There's 39 chapters, so I'm getting there. I think I want to get to 32 today, so that should be fine. And then after that, I want to start If I Stay by Gail Foreman. And this is only 210 pages, I think it was. So it's not too long either, so it shouldn't take me too long. But obviously I'm just going to start this tonight. I'm not going to finish it. I'll hopefully get it finished tomorrow though, because I have got a reasonable amount of free time tomorrow. I've got like quite a massive break during the day where I'm not doing anything. Because I like teach in the morning, and then I've got nothing until much later on night. So I've got enough time to read, so I should get this finished tomorrow. But I do want to start it tonight, so that should be fun. So yeah, that's sort of my plan of action anyway. Um, I am really tired, as you can probably tell. I'm not really talking very well here. But obviously if I do get too tired, I am just going to have to go to bed. Um, but yeah, that's my plan and hopefully I'll get everything done. And I will update you once I've read George's Marvelous Medicine so I can tell you sort of what I thought of that little, like, little wrap-up, like, little review sort of thing. But it won't be my main review because I'll do that once I do my full wrap-up at the end of the readathon. So I have just finished George's Marvelous Medicine and I have written my blog post on it and updated Goodreads and I have also done my challenges for day 3 and day 4 as well because I missed yesterday's but I've done it now, it was sort of take a picture of your bookcases so that was nice and easy and then today was create a dating profile for your favourite literary character which was really fun to do so I've done that as well. So they're all done. So now I am going to go and read a little bit more of Breaking Dawn. I really need to get a cup of tea first, so I'm going to go do that. But I'm going to try and update myself on Breaking Dawn for how long I want, like, sort of where I want to be up to today. And then after that, if I'm still awake, which, I mean, is unlikely at this stage, I'm going to start if I stay by Gail Foreman. But like I said, I don't know how much longer I'll stay awake, so we will see. But yeah, that's it for now, and I will update you soon. So, last update before I go to bed, I have managed to read, you look like freaking gremlin there, I have managed Bye. to read more of Breaking Dawn and I'm now up to date to where I want oh, to be at this point, yeah, so that's good, what? I'm shy, I don't like it enough. You're not shy. And I didn't get any of this one read though, because I'm too tired and I need to go to bed, but I will start that tomorrow. I asked you if you were going to behave, Ryan. And you're not going to, are you? Okay. See, so yeah, I'm going to start this one tomorrow anyway. So I'll update you tomorrow on how I get on with this one. And obviously I'll carry on with Breaking Dawn. That's sort of the plan for tomorrow. I am out in the morning, but then I have quite a big break during the day to read. And then I'm out later on again. So it's kind of the idea, but... We'll see how much I get right and I'll just update you as I go. But for now, that is the end of day four. Is it day four? Yeah, end of day four. And I'll see you tomorrow for day five. Ryan, do you want to say bye? Bye. He's so sociable. <laughs>so it is about 20 to 8 in the morning i am teaching this morning and i've also got a class i join in with as well so i am just having my breakfast and i'm gonna watch a little bit of youtube well hopefully once my laptop decides it's actually gonna work because it's just been a bit broken at the minute but we'll see but yeah that's what i'm gonna do now and get ready and go to one of the classes so i won't be reading until i get back but i will get back around about half eleven probably, quarter past half past eleven and then I've got the rest of the day until I think it's around six o'clock or something like that to read so I've got quite a long time to read today and I want to catch up slightly on what I missed out on reading yesterday so that's 
pretty much my plan of action, but I'll update you properly on what I'm reading later on. It is 10 to 3 in the afternoon now, and I've done no reading, but I have had to do a few things this morning in, into the afternoon and things, so they've sort of happened. Basically my laptop's broken, because the fan system's broken out, so I've had to ring up to ask how much that's going to cost. <sighs> It'll depend on whether it needs a whole new fan system, or whether it just needs cleaned up. But let's hope it just needs cleaned up, because it's going to cost me a fortune. But yeah, anyway, I've just sorted that out. I'll be sending that in to get fixed soon. And then I have also booked in to get my eyebrows done because they're just a nightmare. I've obviously been teaching and stuff this morning. And I paid money in the bank, that was it. So I've done quite a lot today, but it is now time to sit down and actually read. I opened my book before, ready to read. And I think I'm in a bit of a procrastination -y mood because I opened my book and I was like, I need a cup of tea. It's one of those ones where I'm like, I'm trying to read, but I can't get started. It's one of those days. And I think I've got a bit do lally. I mean... I feel a bit hyper. <laughs> I don't know why. But yeah, I'm, go I'm going back out in two hours. I, mean, <laughs> I need to read. I need to read. Right, I'm going to catch up on Breaking Dawn because I need to catch up on my reading for today for Breaking Dawn, but that's it. But that's fine. That shouldn't take me too long. And then I'm hoping before I go out, I will get if I stay started. But because I'm, I really need to read like at least half of this today. So. <laughs> and I don't know what time I'll get back later because we've got a meeting after classes so oh god life and I don't want to be up too late tonight because I'm teaching from quarter to nine tomorrow morning until quarter past twelve so <laughs> I've gone mad I've literally gone stir crazy right I'm gonna go read I think I mean I think that's what's gonna happen I'm planning on reading and I'll update you soon and hopefully I'll not be as hyper but I don't know to go get my tea now before I go out because I don't know how much of a break I've got between a couple of my classes so I'm gonna get tea now just in case I don't know much of a break but I got mostly updated with this I've got a little bit more to do but it'll literally only take me another like 15 minutes or so so I'll do that when I get back I could probably do that in my break actually if I'm back here so I'll get that updated then if I can and then that means for the rest of the night when I get back I don't know what time it'll be but I can concentrate on reading this so I'm pretty happy considering I didn't get started reading until like an hour ago or so, so I'm good with that. But I will see you when I get back from my classes anyway. See you then. Hi everyone, so I'm going to have to talk a little bit quiet just because it's really late. I was planning on reading when I got back from class tonight, but I just didn't feel like it. And it's the first time during the readathon I felt like that, but I think what it is, is I'm in a really creative mindset at the minute. And for you that don't know, I'm a dance teacher and things, I'm very, I'm much more of a creative person than like an academic person anyway. But I've just got loads of ideas floating through my head and things, so I kind of just wanted to sort of work on things like that. When I say work on, I just mean like develop my ideas and things. So that's kind of what I've been doing instead and I don't really feel bad for that and I know it's the read this on but when I'm I'm not always in this creative mindset so when I am I want to make the most of it so that's sort of what's happened but yeah I didn't get any more reading done when I got back is what I'm trying to say but I have read a little bit today so I'm not too fussed and I just want to sort of get into bed now, put my headphones in and listen to certain music and things for ideas for choreography um, yeah so sorry I've not got a reading update for you but hopefully I'll get a little bit more in tomorrow and then obviously we've got Sunday as well so it's not all bad, I can still potentially get everything read I wanted to get read but we'll see, but I am out in the morning tomorrow teaching and then later on I'm out again at friend's house so <sighs> I'm not going to get anything read later on put it that way but hopefully well I know all of Sunday I'm free so I'll be able to read all of Sunday which will be nice um, 
So yeah, I still can get read everything I want to read, I think. It should be able to, or at least most of it, and that's fine, there's nothing wrong with that, so that's sort of the plan anyway. My arm's getting sore now from holding this up, and I'm getting tired, so I'm just going to get into bed. But yeah, that's going to be it for day five. Sorry it's been a bit of a rubbish day, but I will see you tomorrow for day six. But I might not update until I'm back from teaching because I start teaching really early and I'm probably not going to remember to video anything and I'm always in a rush on a Saturday morning so <laughs> it's probably not going to happen but I'll update you when I can. So I'll see you then. Bye! So it's now day six of the readathon and I am back from classes this morning. They all did really get really really good this morning. I'm really proud of them all. And now I am ready to read and I'm actually going to read. Oh my god, shocker, I'm going to read. Sorry I didn't sort of read anything last night. Um, I don't know why I'm part dressing about that, to be honest, because we all get tired of reading every now and again, so it's fine. And obviously this week's been intense with reading, so it's alright. I've had a little bit of a break and I'm back to reading now, so I'm going to read some more of Breaking Dawn. I'm kind of tempted to just try and finish this now, because there's not much left, so I think I'm going to just try and finish that completely now because then I can have my full attention on if I stay. So I think that's possibly what I'm going to do. I'll see what chapter I'm up to actually. I'm up to 34 and there's 39 chapters. I'm probably just going to try and read all this now. Let's face it, it's probably going to be better to do that. So I'm going to try and finish that finally and then I'm going to try and get on to if I stay. I am out but not until much much later on. I'm not, at, um, I'm not going back out until then so I've got plenty of time. And I haven't got anything planned really this afternoon. I need to nip out much later on again just to pick some stuff up. But other than that, I am free for the afternoon. So I'm going to read lots and hopefully get Breaking Dawn finished and get a lot of If I Stay um, read as well. So that's good. And then tomorrow I want to try and finish If I Stay and then go on to where she went. Hopefully by tomorrow night I'll have that finished too. But we'll see. I haven't got anything planned tomorrow because I don't have any parties or anything this weekend, so I am free tomorrow, which is great, so I have lots and lots of time. But I will update you in a bit anyway once I've read at least some of Breaking Dawn, um, but hopefully all of it, and I'll let you know my thoughts on it. Okay, so I have read quite a lot of Breaking Dawn now. I've not finished it yet. I've got two more chapters to read, but it's literally like another like 27 pages or something like that. But I'm feeling really tired. But I don't want to have a sleep because I feel probably worse by doing that. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to get changed and have a shower and everything. Freshen up a bit. And then get back to Breaking Dawn. Finish that because it's not going to take me very long now to finish. And then after I finish that, I'm probably going to have some tea because it's going to be around about that time. And then once I've had tea, I'm still going to have a couple of hours, or at least an hour and a half, something to get this read. So, or at least some of this read, obviously. So I am sort of catching up on my reading. I will be definitely caught up on Breaking Dawn. That will be all done today, which I was planning to do anyway. But obviously I did kind of want to have most of this read tonight as well. But obviously with me going out, it's probably not going to happen. I'm planning on getting close to half of it read, hopefully. So then I can read the other half tomorrow and hopefully get where she went read as well. But we will see. Like I said, I'm just going to take it how it goes and try not to stress myself out about it because I'm really bad for that like if I set myself a goal I like to like make sure I get that goal because if I don't I'm then like oh, but I should have had this done why didn't I get this done I should procrastinate too much and I start to stress myself out so I'm just trying to stay calm because I'm not a very calm person but yeah that's my plan anyway so I'm gonna go get a shower now and freshen up and everything and then I'll get back to reading and I'll let you know how I'm doing. Okay, so I went for a shower and then I had my tea like I said. And then I completely forgot I needed to nip to the shops to pick some stuff up for tonight. So I, I've done all that now and I'm back. But I don't have a lot of time now to read. But I will get finished Breaking Dawn now. I'm going to finish that one definitely. So that will be done. But I'm pretty sure I'm not going to get any of this done today. So we'll just read that tomorrow and I'll probably it means I probably won't get where she went red or not all of it red anyway. But we'll see. I definitely have got a full day tomorrow so I should be able to get lots read tomorrow. But yeah, I'm going to get Breaking Dawn finished now really, really quickly before I have to go get ready to go out. So yeah, I will update you probably 
Mm, I might update you after I finish it if I've got time. But if not, it'll be tomorrow. But whichever of those. Hello everyone, it is day 7 and the last day of the readathon. However, it is also like 20 past 8 at night. And the reason being, I got up really, really late. And then I had my dinner um, pretty much straight away. That's how late I got up. And then I ended up going around to my friends for a couple hours and then straight from that I went to my grandparents. And when I got back, which wasn't long ago, I've just quickly had some tea. And then I am now ready to read. It's been one of those days where it wasn't planned, nothing was planned, it just sort of happened. So I am going to finish Breaking Dawn because I didn't actually get it finished last night, but I've only got one chapter to read, so that will take me like 10 minutes-ish. So I'm going to do that quickly. And then I'm going to go on to If I Stay. I plan on reading all of this tonight. I'm just going to try and binge read tonight and hopefully get all of this read. I will be absolutely really, really impressed if I get all this read and manage to start this one. I don't think it's going to happen. So this will probably be read next week instead, once the readathon's over. But yeah, that is the plan anyway. So quickly read Break and Dawn and I'll update you on that once I've read it. I'll do a quick update on that. And then I'm just going to binge read if I stay. I also need to do my day six challenge, so I'm going to have a look at that soon, um, quickly before I read Breaking Dawn, and then that is done, and I can finish with that, so that's all good. Um, I think it's something to do with the seasons, so maybe it's books linked to seasons, or set in certain seasons or something, I'm not sure, I need to have a look. But yeah, I'm going to quickly do that now, post that to Instagram and Twitter, and then I will update you in a bit, after I have read Breaking Dawn. And I will finally have it read! Yes! All I wanted to do was get that book read by the end of the readathon and I know I've done it so it's a really really good feeling that I've got it read. But yeah that is the plan so I will update you in a bit. So I've finally read Breaking Dawn! Yay! I've finished it! Thank God! I have been meaning to read this book for like about six months. <laughs> I'm not joking. It is a reread. I have read it like years ago. But I was going to reread it about six months ago, and it's been on my TBR list since. I just never got around to reading it, so I'm so happy I've got around to reading it now. Thank God that happened. Um, so yeah, I finished that. I enjoyed it. Um, it was probably my second favourite book in the series, actually. How many third? No, second favourite book in the series, I think. I didn't particularly like Eclipse. I thought it was just a very much filler book. It Nothing much happened. I liked Twilight. I liked the first book. And I thought New Moon was okay as well. But this one I actually really quite enjoyed. And I think it is probably second in my list of sort of best stories sort of books. Yeah, so yeah, I did really, really enjoy this. Um, but I'm going to give it a three stars, I think. Because by the end, it started slowing down a bit. And then there was a little point in the middle as well where it slowed down a bit. Um, and it's huge as well. And I'm not sure it needs to be this big. But yeah, I enjoyed it anyway, and I'm really, really glad I read it. So now I am going to quickly go get a cup of tea, actually, before I read the next one, but I'm going to try and fly through this. It's not very big, and obviously I'm, I'm used to reading Brick and Dawn now because it's huge, so hopefully I will fly through this as a plan and get this read before I go to bed. Wish me luck! I don't know whether I'm going to be able to do this or not, but we'll see. And I also managed to do my challenge from yesterday as well. So that's all posted. It was about the seasons, sort of books that remind you of certain seasons. So I had really good fun doing that. I enjoyed picking out some books for that. And I post that on Instagram and Twitter. So that's all there on my account. I will have all my links and stuff to all my social medias down below if you want to go check any of those out. But yeah, that is it for another book and my challenge done. There wasn't a challenge today, it was just to read as much as you can. So that is what I'm trying to do. Try to squeeze in this last book before I go to bed. Hopefully I do it. So yeah, I'm going to go make a cup of tea and then get on with reading this. And I will update you after. Okay, so I'm going to have to talk a little bit quieter now. Because it's after the reader's on now. I mean, it's after midnight. And I... Obviously I told you before I finished Breaking Dawn. But I also have read quite a bit of this. I didn't get it finished, but that's okay. But I got to page... Let me just check. Page 123 in this. So I'm quite happy about that. And there's only 210 pages. So I got further than halfway, which is brilliant. I really enjoy it. Um, I wouldn't say it's one of my favourite books, I don't think. But I am still quite enjoying it, so that's good. Um, 
I'm not actually that tired, so I might read a little bit more um, of that book. That's what I plan to do anyway. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to do a quick wrap up now before the readathon ends of what I have read during the week, and then I'll do like a proper wrap up video separate to this where I talk more in depth about everything I've read. So the first book I got finished was Matilda, and I give this five stars. I adore Matilda. So I really, really enjoyed this one. I then read Broken Soup, and I gave this four stars, I think. Was it four or three? I can't remember. But one of those two, anyway, I think it was four stars. Again, I quite enjoyed this one as well. It was different. I didn't remember it from the first time at all, so it was like reading it completely afresh, which was good. So yeah, that was that one. I then read Easier Trot by Roald Dahl, and this one I gave four stars. It was just very, very cute. It's super short, so it took me like 20 months to read. Um, but I loved this one. I gave this four stars, like I said, so yeah, that's that. And then I read after that George's Marvelous Medicine, and this is actually one of my favourite Roald Dahl books out of this one. Um, and I give this four stars. It's just really, really funny. And then just before, as you know, I've been reading this anyway during the week with all of those other books I've just shown and I've just got this finished tonight and I give this three stars. So yeah, that is pretty much my wrap up, apart from obviously I read 123 pages of If I Stay As Well. I am going to do a quick calculation now of how many pages I've read during the week this on, so I will get back to you on that one round about now. So overall I have read 1,442 pages during this week, which I am super impressed with. I am really happy with that. So yeah, I think I did pretty good. I am really happy. And now I think I'm going to go and read a little bit more of If I Stay, which I will talk about more in my end of the month wrap up, because I'm not going to talk much as much with this one because I haven't finished it during my readers on wrap up but yeah I will let you know my end of the month wrap up what I think of that one and I will be uploading a wrap up specifically for the readers on soon as well my laptop is going to get fixed this week though so it might be it's probably going to be a delayed upload so just bear with me on that one and yeah same with the uploads after this as well they might be slightly delayed but hopefully not by too much so yeah i'm gonna go enjoy the rest of my night and i hope you all have a lovely night and i will see you in my next video very very soon bye